I would like to introduce you to the Sewing with Nancy program, Circles So Simple, where Donna Fenske, member of the Sewing with Nancy design team and I will share with you various ways of working with symmetrical stitching whether it's an applique or just a satin stitch. There are many ways that you can utilize these basic stitches. We're gonna show you a great quilting technique, actually two great quilting techniques. And as a preview of the program, Donna, we wanna show you how to make scallops. The scallops of fabric in this instance where they scalloping around the edge, you can add them as an embellishment. Now the main reason you can make symmetrical circles is if you use the circle so simple tool and Donna's going to show you how this attaches to the machine it has divots at each increment each inch increment and you s attach this to the bed of your machine with adhesive tape and then you can slide it to various widths and you get very perfect circles it's really easy yes and on the back side of the uh, circle base we we add adhesive tape so that mm -hmm. we can tape it down to the bed of the machine. Also, the tool is a half inch away from the needle. We also have the crossbar attachment that will also have adhesive on the back side. And we also have the tack inside. And what the crossbar will do is hold the tack in the position that I would like it to be. And for a lot of the projects that I do, I like to also spray starch my fabric sure. before I begin. It's like a built-in stabilizer. Right, so then maybe I have less to remove or uh -huh. not have to use a stabilizer. And what I do is I find the center of my square, because I'm going to be making scallops, and simply mark the center, okay? And then I'm going to slide that onto the tack and load it onto the tack. Now, there's two types of covers also for the tacks. There's a very uh, lightweight cover that will hold the tack lightly for quick projects. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a more of a firm tack co cover, which is great for really big projects. So I'm going to simply now just sew a straight stitch because all we're going to be doing is sewing circles to create the scallops. So first of all, we have to sew a complete circle. And then when the circle is done, we're going to do some pressing. So Donna will just completely make that circle shape and here it has been stitched, the two layers together. You notice some kind of unevenness, well that's on purpose. Because at this point we like to pre-press that circle shape, it's easier to do it prior to pr pinning than it is, excuse me, prior to trimming, not pinning. And this way you can get it all shaped around that circle and then after it's been Pressed, pressed. You, you simply trim it with the pinking shears, which is really fast and easy. Then you have this circle, and you mark the center of it, and cut it right down the center, and then turn this right side out. And the pre-pressing allows that edge to become very firm and nice. And so you just kind of have to roll it just a little bit more, do some finger pressing, and then give it a shot of steam, and you'll have very nice scalloped edges that you can use for quilt projects, home decorating projects. So Circles So Simple is a program on Sewing with Nancy that you can watch on public television, on DVD, or online, and it certainly gives you many options for creativity.